Chai's extra assert functionality is helpful, but in my mind, Chai shines brightest with its expect and should assertion formats. These styles add a more sentence-like structure to your test. Take the statement assert equal actual expected. In the expect format, it becomes expect actual to equal expected. In the should style, it's actual should equal expected. In both cases, the reading order is more natural. In this video, we'll look at converting our tests to work for each style. Let's start off with the expect style. We don't need to install anything new, but we do need to change how we load the library. Instead of asking for the assert property, we ask for an expect property and assign it to an expect variable. Then we update our assertions. We'll start with the first assertion, assert equal title robot parts emporium. Chai has a helpful API page available showing the various assertions with examples for each type. Scrolling down the options available, we find the equal assertion. The first example matches our needs. Let's copy it over to our test. The next step is to replace the example values with ours. Then get rid of the old assert. We'll do the same thing for the second page title check as well. The last assertion we have is a little different. Going back to the Chai API page, we find the include assertion. It comes in two forms, to include and to contain, which both do the same thing. We'll use the former format. Back in our code, we change assert to an expect function call, pass in URL, and update the remainder to read to include. Let's save the file and run our test again to see how it works. Looks like everything passes as expected. While I'll be sticking with the expect format going forward, I do want to cover the should style. Should and expect are very similar. Both use the same chainable language to construct assertions. However, the should style extends each object with a special property instead of calling an expect function. Given that should works by extending object prototype, there are some scenarios where should will not work. If you are trying to check the existence of an object, it will throw a reference error if that object ever doesn't exist. There are other ways to test the existence of objects using should, but I just prefer to stick with expect. Regardless, let's update our test to see what it would look like with the should format. First, because should needs to attach itself to the object prototype, we need to require it via a function. It's a simple update to make, but good to be aware of. Because the functionality is attached to all objects, we don't need to reference a specific assertion function and can get rid of this expect variable entirely. The next thing we'll do is update our assertions. Because the format is so similar between expect and should, we can update all our assertions at the same time using Sublime Text's multi-replace tool. First, we highlight a single expect call, then quick find all to select all instances of that call. Next, we delete this text, move to the end of the variables we're testing, delete the extra parentheses, then replace to with should. Let's run our test to ensure we've made the right updates. Again, it works great in this new format. As I mentioned, going forward, I'll be using the expect format. You're welcome to use should if you prefer that style, as I know it's a little more succinct than expect. Before we finish this lesson, I want to show one last tip for simplifying your tests. As it stands, we need to load the Chai assertion library in every one of our test files. Instead of doing that, we can move this statement into our WDIO configuration file. Let's cut the statement out of the test file, then open our WDIO conf.js file. While we're in here, let's delete that console log at the top, since it's kind of annoying now. Next, let's scroll down to the hooks section. We want to find the before hook. This handy function allows us to run arbitrary code before test execution begins. We'll uncomment the function, then paste our chai require statement inside of it. After saving our files, we can run our test to validate that the before hook worked. It worked perfectly. 
Now we no longer have to include the same require statement in all of our test files. This may not be a big deal for a single file, but it is helpful at a larger scale. That's everything you need to know about assertions to get started. In the next module, we'll get back to writing tests and cover pause, debug, and other useful WebDriver I.O. commands.